So today we're gonna to do a review on the Jamaica Beach RV Resort. We're gonna take you around, show you the place. We're actually staying here for a week during the Galveston Bike Week. Lone Star Rally. There you go, right here in Texas. Don't forget to say your nation. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and ring that bell. He's forgetting about it, I gotta remind him now. So here's where you stop for check-in. This has also got some restrooms in it, showers. They've got a laundry mat. The upper floor is actually a clubhouse. Sometimes during the season, they actually serve breakfast up there. But right now, while we're here in November, they're not doing that. So they also have a pool behind this that we'll take a look at in a few minutes. And also a hot tub, which is actually hot. So that's a good thing. And uh, we'll take a look around here and see what else we can do. Splash pad for the kids. Yep, it's behind the building, splash pad. We're taking a look here. This is the miniature golf. It's actually free if you're a guest here, but they do charge you a dollar a ball here. So bring your own balls. There you go. BYOB. <laughs> a little better. They also have a gigantic chess set here that you can play. Lots of sharks. They also got a thing over there that says Water Wars. I'm not quite sure what that is. They have a fire pit here for a community fire pit. So they do allow golf carts here, but you do have to pay $5 during that time for a license. They say that the county makes you buy. So we've got it stuck on there. Yeah, through here will be the first pool that we're gonna be checking out. You can see the hours there. And you gotta remember this is off season. A lot of these things are gonna close after bike week. They do have pizzas here if you want to buy them. Hunter Brothers Pizza. It's upstairs. So here's a here's number one pool. Looks like it's about six feet. No, nope, it's five feet. Five feet at the deepest end and three feet at the other. And the hot tub is three foot. It actually is a hot tub. This is a splash pad for the kids. Fills that bucket up and dumps it out. You get all wet. No, we're at the wrong. I want this to deceive you. It says 10 pound bags, 20 pound bags. There are 7 pound bags and 16 pound bags. So make note. <laughs> so they have a playground here with a basketball court and looks like a horseshoe pit, a bounce house, which they just put up today, and a little playground. This here is the pickle ball court. Also this road that's right over there will take you all the way back to the bay in between, I guess the mainland and uh, island. island here, I guess. I guess we're an island. Yep. Yeah, water's all the way around us. So we're heading now to the indoor pool. Those cabins up there too. Yep, they have rentals here. A lazy river we'll take a look at. Uh, not too many people in here, it's only about 70 degrees today. There's a cabana, they says reservation only. I would imagine they probably cost. Have your own little bar and little area. 
sure what's underneath the might be a ceiling pans. Yeah. Place there to get splashed at. They have music playing out here throughout the day. You can actually hear it at your campsite. They do turn it off at night. It's like another place to get wet. This will be the, it's November, so this is during bike week. This is the last weekend they will have uh, the outside pools, Lazy River, and things like that open. We'll have an outdoor movie theater here where you can sit here outside and enjoy the a movie. I'm sure they have those on the weekends or maybe all during the summer. Usually on Friday and Saturday, I would bet. Uh, back part's right up against the back part of the golf course, and it's right next to the adult only hot tub. And then also is the tiki bar and a bathhouse over here. Let's go take a look at the rest of it. This is a shallower pool here. It's got the lawn chairs. Uh, also got a tiki bar. Not sure when they serve drinks here or not. There's also another bar over here. All these bars and pools do have music playing other than the spa that we just went out of. There's no music playing there. Also got a volleyball net. Looks like it's a little dire of need to repair. So, uh, got some bar stools in the water, some rain. Right here, there's also a laundry mat and also a showers and bathrooms and all that good stuff too in the purple building here. So. That kind of shows you a look around of what's here. Uh, quite a few things, a lot of things to do here during the summer if you're out here. Uh, they got some ponds. I don't know about fishing in on any of those. And they got propane. Propane, like Mr. Hill used to say, what's who was his first name? I can't think of his name. I want to say Kevin, but that wasn't it. Dog park, one of two. This one's a lot bigger than the other one. A little labradoodle in there says so some friends came to play with me. 